So the this image that you are seeing on your screen, and uh, this is of Joanna Mamombe, a member of parliament for Triple C, but also she is a member of the Public Accounts Committee for Climate Change. So she's here pictured with President Idi Mnangagwa. And um, this picture has been widely shared by Barakashi, and mainly the agenda is to say, okay, she recognizes um, Idi Mnangagwa as the president, albeit the fact that the Triple C has not yet recognized the president, Idi Mnangagwa, as the president of the country. And you can see uh, the people that are around the president, they're smiling, most of them, you know. Uh, there you go. She, they, she then greets the president. Uh, and, you know, there's that smile, you know, that that Idi Mnangagwa smile, that, you know, right. But what do you think then can see, uh, you found, if you go on uh, 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 Joy Charamba's uh, platform, it is there, you go on many Varakashi, this picture has been widely shared. But what then came to my mind was the fact that is it that the people from Zanpia really want dialogue with Triple C, but they are trying to hide that fact? Or it is an agenda setting to say, try to say, to say that no matter what, you will still come back and recognize Idi Mnangawa as the president. But for me, I've got something in my mind. I always think that, okay. So it means that some of some of the people from ZANPF really want dialogue between uh, the two, which is uh, ZANPF and Triple C, which are the biggest parties. These are the two parties actually that are in parliament. So what do you make of this picture that has been widely shared? Of course, the people from Triple C did not like it, but the people from ZANPF kind of like they were celebrating. Ah, yeah, yeah, you know, Joanna Mamon. But my thought was, it's, it, it hints the fact that there is that desire that, guys, let's just settle this thing, which is also my desire. And I've said this a number of times that, guys, let's talk about this. Let there, let there be dialogue. Let people find each other because this thing of fighting, fighting, we have been doing it for the past 23 years. And of course, there are graves in it. There are people that died and there are people that have died for this. Uh, but some and some of people need to find each other because at the end of the day, there is no way that we are going to grow as a, as a society. In spite of the fact that I don't like what is happening, notwithstanding that, in spite of the fact that I might not be happy with the, how things are going, but the fact that if we keep on this polarity, it's not going to take us anywhere. Look at how uh, people in South Africa, political parties, right now, it's fist for fist against each other. But after the elections, they fight each other. They fight on, 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 on de and debate on different uh, platforms. But at the end of the day, they are buddies. You say, okay, guys, we're fighting on the political arena, just like what you do with soccer. You fight, you're fighting for the ball, and you get angry. Sometimes you get red-carded or yellow-carded. But at the end of the day, you hug, you talk to each other, you, you move. That's the kind of thing that I, I prefer because that's what I want. But what do you make of this picture, and what do you make of um, the reactions by the camp of Ar Arakashi for ED? What do you make of this picture? Love to hear your thoughts.